So that's one of them nasty evenings and I figured I would uh, show off the new purchase I just bought. Bought a uh, 1982 International S1700 with the IDI diesel motor in it. <clears throat> Flatbed. Um, so the story is somebody had a truck for sale. Or he got off his neighbor. Neighbor sold to him. I told him to let him know if he ever decided to sell it. Well, that happened a lot sooner than expected. So yeah. I ended up with a new truck this year. Or a truck to use on my farm. Um, but since this one's roadworthy and playable and, le and legal, I'm going to use this as a, my weekend mobile to drive. Because saves miles off that truck. This thing here is the farm truck. And I'm going to... It's got these sideboards on here for just... If you need to haul something, you know, something minute or something like that. But the main reason why we bought this is because I'm going to build log bunks to put on here. And I'm going to be able to haul logs on this bed. Um, and multiple different pieces of equipment. Uh, farm equipment I may buy. Uh, like bush hogs and plows and stuff I can, you know. It'd be a good, uh, good truck to use as my, you know, my everyday equipment hauler if I need to use it. Um, that's the original coming out of Columbus, Indiana. I had it, I guess. That's where the original international dealer is. It's pretty cool. I'm going to try to take these over because, as you know, I'm not leaving that on the side of the door. And I can't stand that it's it's kind of a crappy looking green, so I'm going to paint it white. And I'm going to put new mirrors on it. 48 bucks, three international to get brand new mirrors for it. And that's what I'm going to do. Of course, I love these handles. I just, I love the way that those handles work. It's got carpet interior. It's got leather sides. The crank down windows work very well. Uh, it's a little dark in here. The interior looks a little bit better in the daylight when it ain't kind of dark. It's got 500 and some odd thousand miles on it. <clears throat> the AC works, the heat works, the defrosters work. What better could you get? It's a five speed autom automatic. You know that sissy shit with a clutch. I'm just kidding. It is, it's got the five speed manual in it. I love it. I drove it all weekend, all Memorial Day weekend. <clears throat> um, but I figured while we're here, we'll fire the old girl up. Runs like top. Show y'all the lights on it. Yep, I got that mounted up the other day. Here. I'm gonna pipe it off of the muffler, bring it up and around, and bring it up to here. Um, I'm leaving the muffler on. These IDIs don't sound very good straight pipes, so I'm leaving that off, leaving that alone. All the lights work, which is pretty damn cool. Runs really good, drives really good. She will run a comfortably 45 miles an hour down the road, or 55 miles an hour down the road. It will run 65, you push hard enough. So. Turn the lights off. I do like this truck, it's pretty cool. I'm glad I got a chance to buy it. It's gonna be a fun project. It's not gonna happen overnight, because Money's a little tight and all that crap, but um, I am going to paint this summer. I'm going to finish that piping up. That's going to happen after I get the plates and insurance taken care of. Then I'm going to black the windows out on it. Because that's just got to happen. And then when I get ready to paint it, it's going to have new mirrors put on it. Uh, it's going to have all the new mounts and stuff for this rusty shit ain't on here no more. They're actually aluminum. The new ones are aluminum. 48 bucks a piece, so I can't complain. That's the whole the whole assembly with the mirror. And as you can see, this one here is pretty well pretty well shot. A little road salt got to that one. This one at this tank here does have a small fuel leak. I think it comes from underneath the strap. I'm gonna investigate that maybe next winter. But 
it ain't leaking enough to be dangerous. Um, but yeah, so you're gonna be my my, uh, my log hauling equipment hauler weekend truck, my fun truck, my project. Um, just to just to have it's gonna be pretty nice to have around. So anyhow, please comment, and subscribe, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. There'll be more videos of this thing as soon as I get started working on some stuff and we get everything else taken care of on. And so yeah, please comment, and subscribe, catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.